Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to cover the answers to the worksheet for multiply four digits by two digit. I'll go through each of the questions, showing the calculation and hopefully covering some of the things you may have found a little bit tricky. Question one says solve the calculations. Which calculation gives the larger answer? So in order to work this out, we need to solve both calculations and decide which answer is the largest. So, the first calculation is 7,141 multiplied by 16. So the first step we need to do is multiply um, everything by the ones number. So we do 6 multiplied by 1 is 6. 6 multiplied by 4 is 24. So we put the 4 in the tens column and exchange the 2. 6 and 1, 6 multiplied by 1 makes 6, and then add the 2 gives us 8, and then 6 multiplied by 7 is 42. The next job then is to multiply the tens number, so we need to put a 0 in the 1's column to indicate we're multiplying by 10 and not by 1, and then we work through again. So 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 7 is 7. The final step then is to add all together. So 6 and 0 is 6, 4 and 1 is 5, 8 and 4 is um, 12, 2 and 1 is 3, add one more is 4, and then 4 and 7 makes 11. So the answer to this calculation is 114,256. Let's solve B then. Step 1, multiply the 1s. So we do 7 times 1, which is 7, 7 times 4, which is 28, so we put the 8 in the tens column and we exchange the 2 into the hundreds column. We do 7 and 1 again, which is 7, add the 2, makes 9, and then 7 and 6 makes 42. Step 2 then is to multiply by the tens number, so we put the 0 in the ones column to indicate that. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 6 gives us 6. And then the final job is to add all together. So 7 and 0 is 7, 8 and 1 is 9, 9 add 4 is 13, 2 add 1 is 3, add 1 more is 4, and then 6 and 4 make 10. So the answer to this question is 104,397. So now we can compare the two numbers. To compare the two numbers, start at the 100,000s number and work your way down if you can't compare them because they're the same. So there we can see that the 100,000s number is 1 in both numbers, so we can't compare that. But the 10,000s number in each calculation is different. In this calculation it's 1, in this one it's 0. So this answer, 114,256, is bigger than 104,397. So the correct answer is A. Question 2 says, Katie thinks the area of the wrapping paper is 51,936 centimetres squared. Is she correct? So what we need to do is we need to find out the area of the wrapping paper for ourselves. And the area, the calculation for the area, is written on the sheet. So what we need to do is set that out and do it ourselves. So I've set out the calculation like this. You need to remember to make sure that the 1s are lined up and the 10s are lined up because that will make sure that we actually add up everything properly in the end. So we do our 1s first. So 6 multiplied by 1 is 6. 1 and 3 makes 3. 1 and 0 is 0, and 1 times 1 is 1. Next we move on to our tens number, not forgetting to pop your 0 in the 1's column. 5 and 6 make 30, so we pop a 0 in the tens column and exchange the 3. Then we do 5 multiplied by 3, which is 15, add 3 is 18 so we exchange the one in the thousands column 5 multiplied by 0 then is 0 plus that extra one gives us 1 and then 5 multiplied by 1 is 5 
Our final task is to add everything together. So 6 add 0 makes 6. 3 and 0 gives us 3. 0 and 8 gives us 8. 1 and 1 gives us 2. And 5 and nothing gives us 5. So the correct answer for Cadia's area is 52,836 centimetres squared. So Katie is incorrect, and that is the correct area there. The final question says, solve the calculations to identify the odd one out. Explain your answer. So the first thing we are going to need to do is we're going to need to answer all of the calculations. So let's work through them all together. So A, 1032 multiplied by 26. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 1 is 19. 6 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1, and 6 times 1 is 6. We're multiplying by our tens number, so we need to put a 0 in the 1s column. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 0 is 0, and 2 times 1 is 2. Add them together, 2 and 0 is 2. 9 and 4 is 13, 6 and 1 is 7, add 1 more is 8, 6 and 0 is 6, and 2 add nothing is 2. So the answer to this calculation is 26,832. Now we do 2,111 multiplied by 21. 1 multiplied by 1 is 1, and again, and again, 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. Put our zero in the ones column because we're multiplying by our tens number now. Two multiplied by one is two. Same again. And two multiplied by one again is two. Two multiplied by two gives us four. We add all that together. One add nothing is one. One and two is three. One and two again is three. Two and two is four. And four and nothing is four. Four again. So the answer to this calculation is 44,331. Finally then we've got C. 6,312 multiplied by 31. Start with our ones number. 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. 1 multiplied by 3 is 3. And 1 multiplied by 6 is 6. We'll put our 0 in our ones column to show we're multiplying by our tens number. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. 3 and 1 is 3. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. And 3 multiplied by 6 is 18. And then we add them all together. 2 add 0 is 2. 1 add 6 is 7. 3 add 3 is 6. 6 add 9 is 15. 8 add 1 is 9, and 1 add nothing is 1. So the answer to this calculation is 195,672. So we have a couple of different ideas for what could be the odd one out here, really. The first and the most obvious one is we could say that C is the odd one out, because C is the only answer that has 6 digits, these two, A and B, both have an answer of five digits. However, we could always compare the numbers that are in each column as well. So we could say that actually, if we look at our tens column, we could say again that C is the odd one out because it is the only number that has a seven in the tens column, whereas A and B have a three in the tens column. You could also argue that B is the odd one out because B is the only calculation that has a 1 in the 1s column whereas A and C have a 2 in the 1s column. Any of those answers are acceptable as long as you can explain why you think that. That was a video from Classroom Secrets on multiply four digits by two digits. If you would like to watch the video tutorial that accompanies this step, please visit kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk and if you would like any more resources that meet this step, please visit classroomsecrets.co.uk Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon.